Hey guys, are you here? And today I'm gonna answer one of the questions that so many people in the chat have been asking, so many people in the comments have been asking, and that is when to use low rank and when to use high rank spells in classic World of Warcraft. So jumping into it, we have a bunch of different spells. Arcane Explosion, rank one through five, Arcane Intellect rank one through five, and like so many people are asking, when to use different spell ranks, right? When do I use the top rank one? When do I use the bottom rank one? Do I have to train certain spells? Do I have to buy these all from the trainer? I'm confused because people coming from live, you don't have to deal with this at all because you just have one arcane explosion and one arcane intellect. So in this video, I'm gonna do my best to answer that question. So very first, I'm gonna start with Frostbolt. Um, you want to have a bottom rank Frostbolt and a top rank. I'll usually use this um, language instead of rank one and rank eight top rank, bottom rank, right? Bottom rank means the lowest possible rank, top rank means your highest possible rank. On my action bar, I have uh, this little macro here called slow is rank one frostbolt, okay? And then I have a top rank frostbolt, rank eight, and that's for actual shatter comboing doing burst. So frostbolt, you want a rank one and a top rank. So a bottom rank and a top rank on your bars, and the, the bottom rank is literally just a low mana cost quick way to throw out the movement speed effect. So a quick slow onto your opponent, boom, super easy, right? You're kiting a rogue, you don't wanna do a long frost pulse, you don't have Kona cold up, you don't have frost nova, what do you do? Rank one frost pulse, keep him slow, you keep running. Same thing with a warrior, same thing if a hunter's kiting you, boom, throw out the rank one frost pulse, you blink to him, now he can't get away. Really, really important to have that rank one frost pulse. Um, Blizzard. Uh, Blizzard rank one, very good for getting rogues out of stealth, right? At max level when I'm doing PvP, I'm gonna have rank one Blizzard on my bars. For AoE grinding right now, as I'm doing, I'm gonna have the top rank Blizzard. A lot of questions when I'm AoE grinding, what rank, what rank Blizzard? Top rank Blizzard always. Rank four is the highest one I have right now. I'm AoE grinding with the top rank Blizzard in PvP at max level. Rank one Blizzard to rogue vanishes, boom, rank one Blizzard instantly, it knocks them out of stealth. Um, in vanilla, there's actually no stealth immunity, right? When you vanish, you can immediately blizzard and get them out of stealth. So rank one blizzard for PvP, top rank blizzard for any type of PvE, AoE grinding, raids, dungeons, anything like that. Um, cold, cone of Cold, I actually use top rank Cone of Cold always, although um, I do see some merit to having a, a low rank Cone of Cold. I don't have this on my bars personally, but if someone dragged a rank one Cone of Cold on their bars just for a quick instant cast slow, that would probably be not a bad thing. So maybe I would consider having maybe a modifier, right? So like my one is Kona Cold, maybe I should do Alt 1 as rank one Kona Cold in case I'm out of mana and I just wanna get a quick cone. I think that would be a fine choice. I don't personally use it. A huge question people ask is Frost Nova. Guys, I didn't even train past rank one Frost Nova. Always use rank one Frost Nova. It's low mana cost, there's no difference in the Frost Nova ranks rank one frost nova all the way so many people ask about this one on my bars rank one frost nova you're not using frost nova for damage you're using it for the snare save yourself the mana the damage isn't you know necessary you can do the damage in the shatter combos or other types rank one frost nova on the bars always another question that's a little off topic for this video that i've been getting a ton with classic wow is frost armor and ice armor which one to use ice armor is strictly better i think think pretty much in every situation. You want to use ice armor. Um, and then the uh, question preceding that is ice armor versus mage armor. So you pretty much never use frost armor once you get ice armor. And then ice armor versus mage armor. Mage armor is when you're dueling a caster, when you're dueling um, a warlock, a priest, a, another mage, or when you're doing PVE and you want to allow your mana to regenerate quicker in PVE. So there's a lot of cases where you want mage armor, of course, dungeons, raids, or duels against casters. Um, now, ice armor is gonna be very good against warriors, rogues, ferals, um, any type of melee that you wanna actually slow down. Of course, here, you're using top rank on both ice armors. Um, Frostward, using top rank always. Um, we've already covered Frostbolt, we've already covered ice armor. Ice barrier, top rank always, block, that's it. So that's everything in the Frost tree. You should know exactly when to use the top rank, the bottom rank, and which spells to be using there. Now with Fire Tree, I have rank one Fire Blast and rank six Fire Blast bound. Um, the, the other Fire Blast is actually on my hidden action bar, so you guys can't see it, but it's right here. All right, I just don't have the bottom right one shown. If you guys are curious about my add-ons, I have a whole other add-on video. 
but I have that rank one fire blast almost as like a, a ranged taunt or to um, snipe totems. Let's say a shaman drops a grounding totem, boom. I actually have a mouse over um, rank one fire blast. So I can instantly snipe a totem as a shaman drops it with just mousing over and then pressing the macro. Very, very, very easy. I was gonna see if there's like a critter around here to show you guys, but it doesn't look like there is. Um, but yeah, very, very easy way to um, snipe totems. As well as if I'm AOE grinding, I wanna pull a mob, boom, throw out the fire blast, mob comes in, 40 mana. Don't care about the damage, I just want the aggro, right? So that's why I like rank one fire blast. Top rank fire blast, actually for dealing damage, right? So I use both ranks of fire blast. Fire ward, top rank always. Fireball, now this is an interesting one. I've done some theory crafting on this one myself recently. I used to use top rank fireball. Why do you use fireball as a frost mage? Use fireball for the dot, usually for the dot, maybe a bit of damage as well. Um, however, you wouldn't want to use rank one fireball for the dot because the dot only lasts four seconds, right? Rank two fireball, the dot lasts six seconds. Rank three fireball, the dot lasts six seconds as well. Rank four fireball, it lasts eight seconds and it doesn't go up past eight from there. So I've actually been using rank four fireball if I want to apply the dot, which is maybe a little try hard, but you could do whatever you want. Or you could just use the top rank. It's gonna save you 200 mana and it's gonna be a half a second quicker and you'll still get that fire dot up. So if you're dueling a rogue, rank four fireball is the fireball you want to keep the dot up to um, keep them from resell thing. But top rank, if you sheep them and you wanna get a bit of damage out and apply the dot at the same time, so I've been using, I've been kind of going back between top rank and rank four, depending on the situation. Right now on my bars, I have rank four though, just to get that dot out for a low mana cost and um, not that super, super long 3.5 second cast. It'll be a little bit quicker for a low mana cost just to get that dot out. So it's just some um, food for thought there, rank four or top rank. Flame strike. Um, I have top rank on my bars because I'm AOE grinding, um, but getting someone out of self, you could use bottom rank. I don't think, Flame strikes used super, super, super often in uh, PvP at least, and raiding maybe a little bit, but I think rank one flame strike for getting someone out of self could be fine, but at that point, rank one blizzard would probably be a bit better since you don't have to channel it. So just having the top rank flame strike seems fine for me. Scorch, top rank, um, I don't have any bottom rank scorch. They're all 1.5 second cast. It's gonna save you a little bit of mana, but I don't see the point in doing a low mana cost, low spell damage anyway. So the top rank Scorch is probably the way to go. I have the rank five Scorch on my bars. All right, so Amplify Magic. I actually haven't bought the, the higher ranks of Amp Magic yet. I'm going to, I just wanna save the gold right now. You want top rank, top rank um, Amplify Magic. Arcane Explosion. I use rank one, I use top and bottom rank. I use rank five and rank one. I have both on my bars. Um, the reason being is if I just wanna keep aggro on a bunch of mobs or I wanna kill a bunch of rats or I wanna kill, um, anything that's aggro to me that's low HP, but I don't have enough mana for a top rank, I'll use a bottom rank arcane explosion, right? I have two different keybinds for a, a rank one and rank five. Um, arcane intellect, always top rank. Arcane missiles, um, I haven't been training it either because I just haven't been to my vent, uh, been to the vendor. You want a top rank arcane missiles. Um, and a lot, a lot of times in arcane missiles, you wanna use it in PVP when you get a clear casting proc because it's your most mana, costing spell that you can immediately start getting damage off. So when you get a free proc, you can arcane missiles, get a lot of value out of that. But if someone's on you with a kick, then you wouldn't anyway, of course. Uh, you definitely don't wanna get locked out on that arcane tree. But arcane missiles, top rank. Um, blink, there's only one rank. Contra food, top rank, um, you know, most of the time. Uh, with the mana gems, actually, I think some people probably don't know about this, but I'll give you guys a quick tip. You can make multiple mana gems and have them all in your bags at the same time and then you can actually have them all dragged out to your bar. So, I mean, that's pretty try hard. I usually don't do that, but you can have a ton, ton of different mana gems that you can use, you know, when you, when, you, when you use maybe this one, they'll all go on cooldown, but if you're in combat for longer than two minutes, boom, then you can use the next one, boom, you can use the next one. So in a raid or something that's uh, good or in a long world PvP battle, that could be good as well, or even a long duel or something like that. So making all of your mana gems um, although I don't have them all tracked out to my bar. Contra Water, top rank. Counter Spell, there's only one. Of course, you use that one. Dampen Magic, top rank. Detect Magic, there's only one. Evo, there's only one. Mage Armor, top rank. Mana Shield, top rank. Poly, only rank one Poly. Get a lot of questions about this one too. Polymorph, 
if you keep upgrading it, it's just increasing the mana cost. It's not really doing too much. In PvP, 100% just use that rank 1 poly. It's definitely going to be okay for you. I think in PvE, it might be in PvE, the, the higher ones are better. But this one's totally fine for PvE, 20 seconds anyway, um, for a low mana cost. So I would recommend using rank 1 poly always. Super, 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 super good, especially in PvP. Um, portals, slow fall, remove curse, only have one rank. So I think that's everything. I think that is everything. So you guys should know exactly when to use each rank of every spell. Um, and then sometimes you want multiple ranks of each spell, like the Frostbolt scenario or the Arcane Explosion scenario, um, even potentially a Kona Cold. Um, but yeah, rank one Frost Nova, rank one Poly, and a bunch of different spell ranks actually do matter. Guys, if this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs down. Talk to me in the comments about what you guys want to see in the upcoming uploads. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.